Hello and welcome to Genetically Modified Dragon's YouTube channel. My name is Keith and today I'm going to be showing you a different way to set up Dubia bins. Um, it's a lot of tutorials on setting up Dubia bins on YouTube, but I've never seen any done this way. Um, I have a couple bins already made this way and I have um, some of the old types as well with the whole cut off the top. But that's problematic if you're going to have multiple bins um, when it comes to space. It's hard to stack them on top of each other and they have holes on the top. So a better way to do it is put the hole on the side. I also have to redo this cage, as well, this um, bin as well, due to the fact that I put super worms in with my dubious and they climbed up and they bit a hole through the mesh. So um, I put just a sticker over the hole just to keep the dubia from escaping. But now it's collecting too, too much humidity and um, the cartons are getting soggy so I'm gonna replace this one I'm actually gonna reduce this colony and add it to one of my other colonies um, this is one of my bigger colonies and I'm gonna pretty much discard this being you see it's a lot of dead doobie in there so it's time to replace this one So first off, we're gonna start off with these empty containers. This has a stain on the top. I cleaned it off. It, it won't come all the way off. But pretty much, you need a container. Here's the list of supplies that you're gonna need. And last but not least, you're gonna need some food for them. I use the Repashi um, Bug Burger. If you would like to try this, you can follow this website, thelizardofoz.net, and use the coupon code GMD10. All right. And so I'm gonna put a hole here on both sides. So there and there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. I'm currently working out in my garage, so you can hear a lot of the neighborhood noises or some landscaping going on, but bear with me. So right here is a lip. This is a 20, this is a 20, 20 gallon um, container, 30 gallon container. It has a, probably like a five inch lip, and this is a four and a half inch hole saw. So all I'm gonna do is Make sure I'm inside of this lip and just drill it. Okay, take off the excess. Once you have the holes cut out, you're going to want to keep these inserts. We're going to use this as a stencil for your screen. What I'm using is um, some mesh that I got from ordering in some super worms. It's a bag. 
And I use I like to use these because it's finer mesh, and the gnats gnats can get through there. And if you got dubia, you know how uh, how much of a pain the gnats can be. So what you're gonna do is um, pretty much use this as a stencil, and then go probably like a half inch bigger than what that stencil is. So what you do is you get a marker. You can do it freehand if you want to, but it's, for me it's easier to do with a marker because this, this mesh is so pliable. And you can use any kind of mesh. I'll, I'll just use this one because it has smaller holes and the gnats can't get into it. So I'm going to use this as a stencil and I'm just going to freehand around it about a half inch. You need that extra so when you go to um, hot glue it to the over the hole, you have space to play with. So once you get that hole, you go ahead and and it's two sided. It's gonna be two holes in one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other stencil as well, so I can just put them all four out at once. I mean not all four, but you know what I mean. Yeah, actually. You can actually just um, fold this in half again and cut it like that and you'll get all four with one cut. And just follow that follow along that line. You're gonna have four holes. If you're using a different type of mess, just make sure you uh, fold it in half so you can save time with the cuts and get some better scissors than what I got. Use some little infant scissors. And make sure you have your hot glue gun re getting ready. Mine's is warm warmed up already. So once I cut these out, I can go ahead and apply them to the um, container. It don't have to be perfect. It's going on the inside, so the outside is going to look um, as perfect as the hole you made. The key is just when you hot glue it, make sure you don't leave any gaps so no, no dubia can climb underneath it. Another thing you can do with these types of bins is put tape around it, like packing tape to prevent them from gripping. Uh, I don't worry about that too much because the way I set up my egg crates, it don't allow for it. So that's the four pieces right there. Save this for later if I build any more. But that's the four. Put those to the side and grab my container. Okay, and before you start hot gluing, you want to make sure the surface around it is clear. Take off any more excess that you find from the uh, cutting. And then place your Hold over like this, and then you're gonna tack four, do like a tack on this side, like that. Stretch it tight, and do one on the other side. This side. So tack it like that, pull it tight, tack the other side. Tack the top. And then the bottom. And then what you're gonna do is just connect the
attacking spots. You're gonna can do that for all four holes. All right, this is the last hole. I didn't tell you on the other ones, but once you attack it and you go around, the whole excess um, from the original hole to the extra uh, space you did for the, the net, make sure you fill all that up with the glue so it's completely tacked down all the way around. I'm going in a slow motion cover up all the space between the if you can see the um, the plastic line underneath the net you want all that to be covered with glue so there's no um, bubbles in the net or screening you can go over a little bit as well to make sure it's going to pull you tack down all the way around That should be your final result. So now that we have those prepped, we can set them up with the air cartons and the food bowl and then go on to cleaning out the and make sure you unplug the hot glue gun when you're done with it but yeah once since we have these done we have both of them done we can we can move on to setting them up came okay, on very nice it's a little messy on the outside because of the saw uh, usually I will just take a razor and take off this excess, but it doesn't really matter. It serves a purpose. I can go back and clean it later. But if you want to clean it look, just make sure you hit it with a razor and then knock off all that extra stuff. But for now, we're going to set it up. Um, egg crates first. And I like the... <coughs> excuse me. I like the butt the egg crate same side to same side so see how that side looks you're gonna make sure the other side that you put on top of a look and line up the little gaps right here the little niches right there make sure those line up as well what I'm gonna do is stack as many as I can that way I think maybe I think maybe 10 to fit in like this So I gotta experiment a little bit and see how many I can get all the way across once I um, tighten it all the way up. Hold on. All right, I'm gonna uh, just do it right now. I'm gonna do my best with holding the camera and figuring it out. So, but I'm but the same side to same side until you fill up the whole container. You want the cartons to be as straight up as possible, not at an angle, not at like a slope or anything, straight up as possible. So 
still not cooperating right now, but it looks like one more can fit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So thirteen can fit in there. So what I'm gonna do is take them back out. And this is the bowl I'm gonna be using inside of the cage. I'm gonna break um maybe let me see how many of them. Five of them in half. That way the food bowl can sit down inside of here. And then the egg crate could be away from the mesh. And then this side will have the most humidity because the food is gonna be in here. I'm gonna be using a pre-mixed gel. And I'm gonna put it in here. So the humidity is gonna be here. Well, um, the humidity source is gonna be here. It can still come over here and raise humidity, but it won't be too much humidity because the vents are right here. So I'm just gonna break two notches off of each one, each of the five. Like to save these pieces, I'll show you what to do with them later. Okay, so this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna lay these down flat. Just stack them. You're done. And making sure they line up perfectly or as perfect as possible. You can do it a different way by hot gluing each one together, but that's more time consuming. So, this is the way I do it. And then you're going to do the same thing with these. half ones. And then the food bowl is going to fit right here when they lay down. All right, once you get them stacked like that, you're gonna wanna compress them all down and hold them very tight, pick them up, and put them inside of the uh, other container. So all my pressures right here, and if you can see it, so you're gonna push down on these crates so they can't move, and then you're gonna go underneath, go underneath the bottom ones with the other hand, like that and pick it up as a whole and then you put it inside of the other container like that and it should be a tight fit just like that see now we have these perfect gaps in between all of them slide it over if you want like that make space And that's where those other pieces come in handy. Now you're maximizing all the space. Let me zoom out. See that? And the food bowl is gonna sit here. And this is just a um, bearded dragon food bowl, or reptile food bowl, water bowl. And it got texture on it so the roaches can climb in and out. But you take these extra pieces that you took off of those. I'm going to slide them along the side to make more surface area. Just like that. This last piece right here. And 
And that's the finished look right there. Whole bunch of space. And then you do the same, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one. All right, I got both of those cages set up completely. If you're gonna be doing a identical cage as me, you're gonna need this, this bin right here, which is a 30 gallon Sterilite. And then 13 air cartons. Five of those air cartons you wanna gonna you're gonna wanna take two of the notches off. You know what I mean? Two of them. There's one, two, just break it right there. And then that's gonna serve for where the bowl is. And like I said, you stack them all the way up, squeeze them tight, and hold them together so all the edges are lined up like this. And then you get the maximum space in between the air cartons so the dubia has spaces to crawl. And you're also going to want to make sure that the section with these grooves in it are going up and down. That way that the roaches can go underneath there when it's sitting on the, when it's sitting on the bottom of the container like that. Instead of like this. And they have to walk all the way around. So you do like that. Then they can go through there. So now I'm going to go ahead and sort them. I'm gonna take a lot of the babies out as well, so I can feed off to the baby do um, baby bearded dragons. Um, so let's go ahead and get that started. Right now, I'm gonna put the lids on here, and again, another reason to make your make your cages this way versus putting the holes on top. That way, it's better to stack them. Stack them, and the cages can still breathe. As you can see right there. It's gonna hold more humidity. You can stack them. If your room is eight feet, you can probably put like five of these on top of each other. And in this amount of space right here. Versus putting them everywhere. And then use the smallest mess you can find. It'll, it'll help prevent the um, gnats from um, getting into your colonies becoming a nuisance. I'm going to push these to the side for right now so we can start the sorting process. And I got my usual sorting things. And again, I'm going to take a lot of the babies out. So... Take a lot of the babies out. Um... I'm gonna do this bin first so I can clean this out and put the babies back in there at the end. And again, I'm gonna combine this bin to one of these two bins. Probably try to split in half some type of way. And then put all the babies back in here once I repair this properly with net. So, with um, net right here instead of st stickers, I gotta clean it all out. And then add this to a different colony. Some leftover grub pie right there from last night. I mean, not grub pie, but roach. Um, what is it? Grub pie? I think it is grub pie. No bug burger, sorry. So, yeah, let's get that started. Okay, if you haven't watched one of my, one of my videos before on uh, cleaning adubia bins, how it's going to work is I'm going to take the air carton out of here dump all the excess or all the bugs off into this one. And I'm gonna be throwing these air cartons away this time. So I'm gonna make sure I got every bug off of each one. And then I pour it into this strainer right here. That's to get all the babies out. And then once I get all the adults into this, I'm gonna put them into the new container. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it, put all the bugs in here. I'm gonna throw these egg cartons over there.
Okay, I got um, all the cartons out of this big container. And all the doobie that was on the cartons are in this bin now. And I'm going to be combining them with these. But this um, the strainer is so small. I'm going to need to empty this out first into the... I kind of want to see all of them together. No, never mind. I just need to get the babies off the bottom of here. And I'm not doing it like detailed. I could go more detailed than what I'm doing as far as getting all the babies out. But I just want to get some of the babies out because I'm not going to be touching these bins for a while. I want them to really multiply. I'm just going to be feeding them, feeding this bin, these two bins. So I can get my Dubia colony going real, big, real good, real good. Especially now that I don't have a lot of dragons to feed. I'm gonna go ahead and put open one of these. Empty this inside. Now I can go ahead and pour these inside. And there's still a bunch of uh, doobie up in here. I'm gonna go through and pick out all the big ones and just uh, put them into this container for right now since it's close. Alright guys, I'm going to just go through here and do like you just see me doing and um, take out all the adults and uh, any big nymphs. I'm going to take them all out. As far as the small ones, I'm going to leave them in here. And what I'm going to do is um, feed this um, container, like put a couple egg crates in here and give them food every now and then. And then I'm going to check periodically and take out take them out as they get big instead of going through and, get, and getting all the small ones. That's a shortcut that... Um, that I learned to do over the years. Um, that way you're not spending like five hours trying to get every little baby out of here. What you do is you just put some egg crate in here and you feed the feed the, the colony pretty much. And then as they grow, you can take them out and it'll be a little bit more easier instead of going through all this. All right, now that I got this bin cleaned out, I'm gonna go ahead and throw two fresh egg crates in there, just flat on the bottom. Get them something to climb on. And put a food bowl in there in the middle. like that and then I'm gonna check this probably every every month and take out any of them that are bigger like bigger nymphs because I don't want them to breed in here at all because the, the goal is to get every doobie out of here so I can throw the bottom stuff away so I'm gonna put the take up this bug burger Now I'm going to take the bottom, everything out of the bottom of here, and add it to this one. 
So we have one full of baby limbs that need to grow up. Clean this one out, and that's where the, the clean nymphs are gonna go. There, I'm gonna be feeding off to the baby dragons. So now I gotta knock off the baby dirt underneath here. Pretty much everything done. Still gotta put these in the bottom storage bin there. And put the babies into their container. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and put the food in. This is a bug burger. There's gonna be moisture and food for them. Go ahead and put the food in this one right now. So all I do is add the bugs, the roaches. You know these black beetles right here are. Uh, buffalo beetles and they are part of the cleaning crew in the roach colony so if you ever see those and some roaches you get that's what they are let's see if I can pick one up and these worms are their larvae there used to be a company called mini mealworms and it's pretty much the larvae of the buffalo beetles the the um, baby dragons like to eat both of those as well, so they get a more variety of food. They get the, these worms, uh, these beetles, and the um, dubia. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in a new colony. This one has less than the other one, but again, I'm not going to be touching either one of these colonies besides feeding. So they both will be populated in no time. Still have three other colonies that I can go into and get babies out of for food for the um, dragons. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. Um, comment down below, share the video, hit the like button, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one.